Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, having five torches. There was a reason for these five porches. Have you read it good enough right there to know what I'm talking about? There was a reason for five porches. Because these, I'm going to read it in the rest of the, what I'm going to read there in a few minutes. But these porches were there for the blind, lame, halt, and whoever was sick. And you'll find out there's one fellow been laying there in the bed. And every time he gets to step into the pool to be healed, somebody step in the head of him. Somebody always wants to be first. But the Bible says when he comes, the first to be last and the last to be first. I tell a guy today, that a Mexican, and I'm not kicking Mexicans, they're just as human, and God made them like he made us. But over in Morgan, if uh, you go to Walmart, you may have been crippled and can't walk by itself. Run over top of it, knock you down to get to the door, and shove in the front of it. I'm just telling the truth. And I hate some Americans that do the same thing. I guess in the Cherokee, there's some Indians that do the same thing. But what I'm saying is, I told one a while back, I said, you know what? I used to could run like that. And they stopped and opened the door for me. Amen. I'm not criticizing people. I'm just saying we have got uh, people all over America that's lost all their kindness that they ever had for one another. Amen. For well, we're supposed to be kind one to another. It don't matter who you are, who you at, or whatever you're doing. But the Bible said. Uh, in these lay a great multitude of important folk, blind, all, withered, waiting for the movement of the water. Well, I've got news for you. The devil, and I don't brag on him, I'm just saying he's an evil old devil. He's swung on my back this week. He loves to get on the preacher's back. Boy, I'll tell you, I felt the evilest spirit for the last two or three days I've ever felt in ages. And I just prayed and I said, Lord, if I get to church Sunday morning, ain't no better than this. What's going on? But I want you to know when I pull into the parking lot, it's late. You know what you got to do? Show the devil you ain't going to stop because of him. What he says or nothing else. Amen. You're going to press on, like Paul said, to the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, and run the race with patience. Amen. Brother Tim Bob said, run and don't faint. Amen. I come in this morning, had just barely enough God when I got to the parking lot to get here. But boy, I found out when I... Left church morning, got back tonight. I had enough God to go back home and take care of him next week. Amen. 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 What I'm talking about is if we don't come to the filling station, and this is the filling station, and we don't come to get our needs met and our soul filled with the Spirit of God that we can make it, we fight in a losing cause. Amen. Amen. I know a lot of preachers don't preach like this. One drove me down the country and said, I can't get up to pull a bit and preach like you do. And I said, that ain't my fault. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you, like I said this morning, I'm going to say it again. Deb, I don't have to stand for nobody but myself. If I fail to preach the gospel, I'll have to stand for you. Did you get what I said? Bible said, Miss Lucy, that if I fail to tell the truth, their blood will be in my hand. Amen. And I don't want no blood dripping off of my hands. I, I'd rather people, and I've seen people, they get mad out of age right now. Uh, uh, you don't want to preach a mic to pray for you. Boy, I don't want him to pray for me. 
Come on now, folks. I'm talking about your preacher. I want him to pray for me. Amen. I want you to pray for me. <laughs> Amen. And, and uh, there's an old song we used to song, uh, sing, wasn't it? Pray for me. The old time song, way back down in old folks. Arnold used to sing in the old church. And you know, Arnold will tell you, up in the mountains, they used to not have no piano, no guitars in a lot of them churches. Wasn't it, Brother Arnold? They didn't believe in it. Pray for me and I'll pray for you. I'll get out that goes. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, amen. Well, anyhow, uh, this church up in the, the mountains, up in the bend, they call it out of Spruce Pine, they, uh, they sung... What is you saying when people don't have no music? Acapella. Acapella. And that's what them old folks did. They had all hum together and take off. And boy, they could sing Amazing Grace. They didn't need no music because they never had none. Amen. Amen. I don't usually use music, but these fellas figure me out now. I'm an e-preacher. <laughs> Amen. But he says... And they lay a multitude of important folks, and blind, tall, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Yeah. You want me to tell you something? When you go in the altar to pray, I believe you ought to wait for the moving of the Spirit. Amen. 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 Just come and say, Lord, it ain't my father, it ain't my mother, it ain't my brother, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in need of prayer. And Lord, I'm going to stay here till you hear me. Amen. Come on, amen. amen. A lot of people say, well, you don't talk to God. Yes, sir, you talk to God like your daddy talked to you. <laughs> amen. Just look at him and say, you're going to do it. He said, he said he'd do it. You said you'd do it. You promised me you'd do it. I want you to do it. Amen. 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 Y'all are good to us. Amen. Bible said in verse 5, and a certain man was there, which had a infirmity 30 and 8 years. It was 38 years and had this sickness. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, is that right? Mm -hmm. He said to him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in into the pool, but while I am coming another step down before me. You know, I don't know where, how many people have noticed it or not, and I'm going to tell you, I appreciate this church. Louise talking the other day, because uh, I ever said this, the church has been better to us than about any previous church you ever pastored. I said, I know it. They're wonderful people. But has anybody ever noticed, and I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you, because this is the way I feel and this is the way I do. I know they always ask, and I appreciate that, preacher and his wife to come up front. But how many of you seen the time and I just see you stand back and everybody else? Right. Right. Lucy, I don't see everybody else get it. And if there's any left, man, you ought to be all right. Amen. What I'm saying is we ought to be in such a hurry or act like we ain't had nothing deep for 10 years because we want to step in front of crippled people or people that can't hardly move around or get around and get in the front of them. I say amen or oh amen. 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 I believe that. Amen. Don't step in the front of them. Amen. I know when my mother got sick the last time I went to the hospital, I picked her up and carried her in Grace Hospital in my arms. And Mama wasn't no little thing. And I used to be a pretty good horse of a man in my day. And I picked her up and took her in and laid her in the bed and she looked up at me and said, well, the air condition was on when she didn't have that at home. And she said, I can breathe better now, son. You can go on home and get some rest. I said, no, hardly. I'm going to stay here a while. And I want to tell you, young ones, and all you young people here tonight, honor your father and mother. I don't care at what they've done or what they do. I don't reject you from what God said that you're supposed to honor them. Because I stood there beside of my mother's bed, wanted to use the bathroom and couldn't because you don't understand what I'm saying. And the pain was worn to, but she didn't need to. And they had given her she had cancer. And I was standing there, and I had 
went through the Golden Valley and told my brother it's supposed to be a preacher. I said, Earl, Mama's been a calling for you for several days. And I said, you need to go up. I ain't got no money for gas. So I pulled my bill full out and gave him the last $10 I had. I said, put you some gas in. Mother wants to see you. And he threw my $10 down and walked off. Well, anyhow, that night I was up there and I went in and looked around. Here come Earl and Beatrice. She's, he married Louise's sister. And Earl went over and said, shook my mama and said, Mama, this is Earl. She said, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you. That was her son. I believe sometimes Lucy God will wipe the name of them away from your mind to keep you from suffering over it. Come on, I'm still there. And Earl said, well, she don't know you neither. I went over and kissed her on the forehead and I said, Mother, who is this? She said, Howard. Who would ever forget you the way you've loved me? And Earl fell down in the hall on his knees and was about to have to call the law, crying, Lord, forgive me. Help me, God. Please forgive me for treating my mama that way. And all that such a time you never seen in your life. And then when she passed away, he wouldn't go to the funeral because he said there's too much pain on her. That's him and God. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not turning against mama or daddy. Our brother, our sister, and I got somebody that don't have no good sense. Amen. Come on now. Amen. And the people that has been here at this place, if they'd have had the God in their heart they ought to have, they would have stopped by the bed and got him by the arm and said, Brother, let me help you in. Amen. Am I preaching this right? Amen. Amen. Lance, I'm talking about we ought to show others <laughs> sometimes that love that we don't show them. Amen. Amen. Well, you just don't know this and you don't know that. And I'm going to tell you something. Now, just let's put it right down to plain good old country talk. Why do you want to be the bullheaded? They're dead and gone. Why don't you forget the past, get in the track of following God in the race which we're in today, and serve God instead of sitting around so miserable? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And the Bible says, the unpotent man answered him, Sir, and verse 8, Jesus said to him, Rise, and take up thy bed, and walk. Amen. He said, If I want nobody to help you in, I'll just tell you what I'll do. I'll heal you, and you're going home. Amen. Woo! Lord, I'm ready. That's about as good as you get, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. Jesus said, Now listen, immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. You know, they always are to throw that in Jesus' face about doing things on the Sabbath day. Amen. Over there, when they needed to eat, he went through the cornfield plucking corn. Come on now, church of Bible readers. Amen. Plucking corn. They accused him of doing all this on the Sabbath day. Amen. Well, he built the world on six days, and the seventh day is to rest. And it don't matter what day it is, if you believe he's the Son of God and that he's got the power he said he has, he'll heal you no matter what day it is. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sabbath day. Now, I've got something for you. Don't it say somewhere in the Bible, uh, tell me to turn over and read the will. But it said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Amen. Amen. Well, he wasn't doing nothing wrong when our people were hungry. He was over there feeding us. This fellow here, he wasn't doing nothing wrong when he come by and said, wouldn't it just be better for me, Brother Tim, take up your bed and walk. Amen. I remember several years ago, and they said, I believe, at least, Couple in here remembers it. God told me to quit preaching and walk the door, and back, and I did. Amen. And if I remember right, Miss Rita said, I know God's going to let my preacher walk in. Amen. 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 Well, preacher, how come you ain't walking now? You ask God about it. Amen. I'm not worried about it. Come on. Amen. People worry about it. If you're just in the shape I'm in, well, I'm going to tell you something. Why don't you believe God? Because Miss Lucy, he's still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. 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 He said, look on me. 
Amen. See who I am. There's a lot of people look on the devil and see who he is, and they brag on what the devil's done. They get on, the devil's done this, and the devil's done that. Last, I'd like to see one good service come in here, and everybody's bragging on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen, because he's the master of the sea. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright morning star. He's glory to God. He is the master of the sea. Amen. Amen. Woo! God, amen. Wonderful. Counselor. God Almighty. Christ of peace. Well, glory to God. He is what He said He was and was what He said He is. And He'll always do what He said He'd do. Amen. amen. That's good, ain't it, Brother Stephen? Amen. Well, glory to God. Amen. And the Bible said immediately the man walked. And Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. <laughs> well, blessed be God, if God healed you, throw the bed down and run home. Amen. Amen. Ain't no use to let that tangle it up and worry about it. Amen. Throw it away and let it go. Amen. Amen. You know, I want to say something. God gives you what he wants you to have. A lot of, a lot of people, Murray was here several years ago and we had a, uh, a room down there where Miss, I believe Miss Helen teaches now. It was full of food and helped the needy. And the reason we cut it, quit it, because uh, we didn't have that many and we're round about and all the help and all, and the camp stuff runs out a certain day. Well, the benches was nailed with 10 feet of nails into the wall, and uh, Jerry, what was Jerry? Benfield. Benfield, he's a big old, does anybody remember Jerry? Big old fella. And that several we went downstairs, Brother Bill, you remember that? And I uh, was going to get the food we give the people in the church that needed help, and then was going to tear their table down where they could use that room for something else. And I stood there seeing Jerry and that big old fellow with muscles a lot bigger than mine, uh, striving and pulling. Jerry said, Preacher, there ain't no way to get it off my wall. So I walked over and I said, Well, Jerry, it's just like this, and I got it and yanked it off the wall. <laughs> Why ain't you, Preacher, watch your back? I said, I'm not using my back, I'm using my arm. And I jerked the nails plumb out of the wall. Amen. It ain't how big you are. It ain't how stout you are. It's how you do it. Come on, amen. It ain't how rich you are, how much money you got. It's how much brain you got to know how to manage it. Amen. Woo! That's good preaching, hard going. Amen. God so good to us. We're shepherd. Glory, glory, glory. Now, verse 12. They ask. Then they asked him, What man is he which unto thee take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had made himself away, and multitude being in that place. After what Jesus find you know what? Jesus wasn't a bragging fellow, was he? Jesus didn't break what he'd done. He knows what he could do. He is the Son of God. He didn't have to brag about what he's going to do, but he said, I'm here, and if you'll look on me, well, he's like he told them over in the wilderness when that their serpent hung up our brother land. He said, every one of you looks on that serpent, you won't die. Amen. But all of you looked upon the Son of Man will never die forever. And the Bible said in verse 14, actually Jesus found him in the temple, and said to him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest the worse thing come upon thee. Amen. Now what did I say this morning? Walk off and leave God if you want to after God. You're supposed to accept the God. And see if the second trip you come back don't make it seven times worse than the beginning. Amen. 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 I'm glad, praise God. You leave here, you know the truth. Bible said in 15, the man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Boys, I'm going to tell you right now. That sounds just about like a tax office, don't it? Come on. They told my daughter the other day, she said, I don't have the money to pay all that tax you charged me on that little house we live in. 
and I'd like to pay you so much and pay so much a month. And they said, we can set it up in payment, but you've got to sign this document right now that if you don't pay it, we'll guard say your wages. Well, people don't care, Lance, about nobody anymore. Amen. And did you know what they've done in Burke County? I don't know what they've done over here in Lenore and all, but in Burke County, at first of the year, they told everybody who worked for the school, the county, the state, and all, if their taxes wasn't paid up and cleared, they had no job the next day. Did you hear that? I was there, they said. Then the new week, said if the county, the state, the schools, and all the people that worked for them had, didn't have their tax paid up, they didn't have no job. This fellow here said, what does it matter if it's the Sabbath day? The man healed me. Amen. I, 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 amen. He told me, take up my bed, and I didn't listen to you. I listened to him. Amen. And it don't matter what you say, Arnold. Uh, uh, well, I'm just about here. It don't matter what you say. This man told me I could walk, and I did walk. And in fact, I don't know, it ain't made all be wrote in here, but I'm going to put it in there, and I ain't adding nothing to it. I'm just putting a human source to it, and it ain't none of your business. Amen. Come on, amen. It ain't none of the devil's business, is it, Arnold? What Jesus does. Amen. Jesus didn't make the trip down here just to be a coming. And I believe, I don't know, you agree with me or disagree, I believe Jesus Christ was a good looking man. I believe that. But you know what? He didn't come Lucy for everybody that looked on him as good looking. He said there's no beauty about him and nobody behold. While they beat him to death. Amen. How do you think you'd look if they beat you to work? They couldn't hardly recognize you. That's why they done him. But you better realize this. They can beat you like that, but it will not count like him because he done it for you. Amen. He said, I took this beating for you. Amen. Ain't God good, wonderful, great, son of God. Amen. Preacher had ordained me in 19... I was ordained in 1962. And he walked into Hardy's here a while back and... He's met, sort of messed his life up down the road after all the uh, 60s. And this woman looked over and said, uh, called this preacher's name, said, you know Preacher Michael sitting over there? He said, yeah, I ordained him. And I told him how he ought to take the Bible and stand. And said, I don't, I'll go over and speak to him, but I don't have much to say to him because he'll tell me I ain't fit to preach no more. And if you'll know what his life was and what he'd done and what the Bible says, you'll agree with that. But I'll leave it like this. I told him, I said, hey, my, I would might say I wouldn't hear you preach because you ain't what you used to be, but I'll let you and God wait on the judgment let him tell you where you ought to be. Amen. Amen. And I see him. He called Louise. He called her here a while back got on there and tell what the Bible said in the Bible. I'm sure the Bible where a man can preach and do this and do that. And Louise, give the answer. My good wife, give a good answer that I'll never forget. She said, well, preacher, it's like this. If it's okay with God, it'll be okay on the judgment. And he had to call back. <laughs> you know what the Bible said? Soft answer. Turn away right. There wasn't no fuss in Tim. There wasn't no feuding. She told him, if it's all right with God, it'll be all right on judgment. Amen. And I'm going to tell you tonight, however you live and however you do God, if you live like you ought to, you're going to face him and hear him say, well done. And if you don't live like you ought to live, he's going to say, depart, I never knew you. Amen. 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 There ain't many country churches like Northside no more. Oh, you come in and like the preacher up there on Mount Olive, they still ain't got no preacher. And they went in on Sunday and they voted on him. And 85% of the church voted for him. And he said, they ain't good enough. I won't take it unless it's 100. I said, you talk to myself. You'll never get 100 people. Yeah. But you know what? Why don't we do it like this? Take the church and pray. And maybe out of the 15% will get saved. Amen. Come on, amen.
Amen. Have you got an attitude about God? Told, he didn't tell me because the whole world loved me that I was to preach, Bill. He told me to go out in the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. He said to preach it just like it's wrote. It don't make no difference. And, 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 and don't matter how blind. You know what? There's more people. Now listen to me. There's people that's blind and can't see a thing. And there's people that said they're saved that still blind and can't see nothing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. A fella went to this church where we did. I'm going to tell this and I'm going to hush. He went to this church where we did. He was Sunday school superintendent. And he was drawing a check for being totally blind. And the church we went to was 80 foot long and 40 foot wide. I painted the inside. I know that I mentioned it. And Amanda, he was total blind, but he could tell who he was. He'd come in the door, 80 feet back. The United States needs God. Amen. That's coming to pray. Pray that uh, whoever gets in for president will know God. Amen.